Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today we are playing Santa La Donna, the new character in the latest update using this weapon. Yeah, <laughs> I think this will be a little bit complicated. This is by the way with the max amount of cooldown that you can have in this game, which goes down every single time we level up, but that just means I really have to get going with the weapon evolution. And I'm a little bit scared about when I have to take this weapon. And I'm a little bit scared because I plan to make the very same video but without evolving the weapon. Though today we'll evolve it. So, do I just focus on it more? I think I should actually focus on cooldown reduction. But we've kind of seen that it doesn't work that well. So, two special things about this weapon. One, it's affected by duration, the damage. Now, first of all, two very important things about this weapon. Duration affects the bonus amount. And I would assume that even if you go beyond the max cap in the game, it still affects it. Okay, area and cooldown. Very good to know that area affects it. But yeah, it should still affect it, I would assume. And the second thing that is important, it can critically strike. That means slash is a thing. Uh, what do we go for? I think it's now time for Empty Tome, I would say. Uh, I don't think... Oh yeah, the character has an effect that he triggers a rosary if you get really low in HP. Okay, okay, that's good. Now the real question though, how do I survive this? <laughs> Ooh, wait. You have more cooldown than normal. Will this still go down or does he just have bonus cooldown? Let me check this out. He keeps it. That means you have the max amount of cooldown reduction with this. Uh, sure, sure, perfect, perfect. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's still there. Maybe it will eventually disappear, but right now this is the max amount of cooldown reduction you can possibly have in the game. And I think I will focus on you a bit more. Cooldown reduced by 5 seconds. I would assume that's 0.5 seconds, and it definitely looks like it. Now it's maxed out, and I'm pretty sure we also have to max out Clover, because you have to always do this with these new weapons. Not all of them, but most of them, or a lot of them, or it's inconsistent. Oh, there's the boss. I really need this evolution, and that it's good. Uh oh Okay, okay, we got it. Wait. Huh? Huh? But I picked up the... Huh? I mean... <laughs> uh, do we go for the... Well, it's already here, right? Are you guys ready for... Boogaloo of Illusions. Don't worry, we'll go... It didn't evolve. Um. What? Uh. Yeah. Am I. Am I misunderstanding something here? Shouldn't this have evolved? Why did I get an Akina chest? What is up? What is it with this character? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean. I guess I'm kind of happy, but at the same time, I'm really confused here. Uh, Taruna is on the stage, so we'll pick it up from there. And everything else we can also pick up, but I kind of expected at this point we really would have an evolution. Uh, what do I do now? I guess I run down and get the Duration Arcana to get that going as well. But yeah, like, to say that I am confused would be an understatement. I had no idea that this will happen. I'm really wondering if this is a bonus Arcana and we will end up with 5, because with the... Because with the inverse mode that we are playing on, you would have four usually. And if this counts as an extra, or if he just gets this earlier... Oh, that would mean... Well, I guess we can't go for slash, correct? Yeah. By the way, for the damage nerds, here you have the damage numbers. Honestly, that's not bad. That's a really solid damage number, I would say. Oh, I really have to get through here. I need to get the bonus armor. That's a rosary. Nice. Can I, can I please... Please, please, I'm almost there. Well, I'm so confused now what I'm supposed to do because I don't have a chest, you know. I'm like, uh, how do I continue even? At three minutes, the next boss will spawn and I hope that one will give me a chest to evolve because otherwise I will just waste all of the limit break stats. Like, I don't even want to pick up the red gem. Don't tell. Okay, it wasn't the red gem. Good. Uh, yeah, I think I will just walk in and get the duration arcana. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just walking in to get the duration, okay, now. That worked out flawlessly. There we go, lost of painting. painting. I, I would really like to go for the crit one, but I can't really afford that. And I will just run away. Okay. Well, now it worked out. 
Uh, there we go. So, critical damage affected by luck turns rosaries into weird souls. Maybe Slash wouldn't even really affect it. Why does the damage differ so much? Why am I dying? Why is the hair on the floor? Why do we wear a mask? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, really? Now, for the second attempt, we'll obviously skip until we are at four minutes. But what I'll change here mainly is we know that we can't evolve this early. So all I have to do is just focus on survival. What? I just got another Arcana. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't get that the last time though. I mean, that's that's the one that I wanted to have. I wonder if the one on the stage is still there. I think it's gone, right? That means we are stuck with these four. Well, that's kind of funny. Right? Yeah, that's now just a normal chest. Okay. Crit chance? That is insane. But I'll focus on area for now. What I'm looking for is the red gem. There it is. Please be the one. One of them at least. Duration is probably good. There. Yeah. Okay, it's wasted. Huh? Allows you to choose an extra passive weapon? I have a feeling because of the randomness with the weapon, the Tirachi Zoo will become very important. So I will take that because the rest is just on the stage that we can take. And I will walk away before I trigger the Guardians. I will go down, I'll get the crown, then we'll get the badge for more revivals even. And uh, looking at the damage numbers, yep, that weapon is not bad. Wow. How much luck do we have? 160%. Yeah, looking at the stats, most of these look normal. Luck is definitely more increased than anything else, but also growth is really high. Very nice, by the way. So let's see how the weapon is performing right now. Hmm. I would say it can definitely protect me, but the moment the enemies flood in with higher curse levels, I think I'll just die. So let's take a look at this again. We do have area, crit chance, I guess this will stop at 100%. Is there a mount in here? I would be surprised because a mount is affected by duration and that's probably also why we see duration. Oh, there was a mount. Well, I guess I'm surprised, huh? Well, would you look at that? Let's do random always. But that means we know all of the upgrades. Isn't that an additional weapon? There's one thing that I am actually considering right now, which is Greatest Jubilee. And then I just banish it, that it stays level 1. Reason being, I just wanted to trigger to give me bonus luck, because this scales up the weapon. But I think this will be a story for another day, because otherwise it's not a single weapon limit break. Now one thing that I could have used is a life sign support to get permanent bonus stats, but I would really like to experience the weapon the way it is and what's possible in the game, before I start taking something broken like that and then it's like... Yeah, okay, no wonder it's, like, super strong. Okay. I think that was just an insta-kill for everything. Oh, wow. That one is actually going crazy. Now, we do know that amount affects the weapon. I wonder how much amount the maximum on the weapon is with duration. Because looking at duration right now, we have 179%, which is definitely not normal in this game. We are taking this to the extremes. And that should mean that we have way more than a normal amount. There's a chest. I will just continuously pick them up. But yeah, it's just a normal chest. Okay. There we have the Academy badge. That means we'll get bonus projectiles and revivals. Do I doubt that we can even use them? Like the weapon will most likely just be maxed out. Well, our amount should still apply to it, right? It's just when I see the attacks, it... Okay, what does a mount actually do? Because I see a huge nuke there. It's like a spear falling down and then creating this shockwave on the floor. Huh. Guys, do you think we can go max max curse? Like, every single curse item that is on the stage? Because I can go over to Toruna and then I make a round and pick up every single one of them. Level 143 to... Ah, uh, 30 level ups. That's that's decent, I would say. We're definitely getting a huge amount of kills. Oh yeah, right, the rosary effect. <laughs> I always get spooked when that happens. Can't insta-kill these ones, though. But now it deals 3.5k damage out of nowhere. You're definitely a fine weapon. I'm currently wondering if it would have been better instead of duration to take this slash arcana, but it really depends whether the duration still affects it or not. Because if the limit is 20 with and without duration, we would just reach that limit regardless and then all is wasted. Okay, um, 
the field is getting really big. <laughs> the Boogal of Illusions was no waste, for sure. And you can even see when the Boogal of Illusions braves, it has this curve behavior. You can see that because now look at how big this is. And then it becomes small again. Hello, mini guardians. I'm just coming by to, well, kind of take your balls, but also take the Taruna. Where are they? Oh, there. <laughs> okay, you know what? Keep your balls. Keep your balls. I'm fine to live without your balls. Yep, yep, yep. Taruna, thank you. Where's my red gem? Don't do this to me. Oh, I... Okay, perfect. We got it in time. Because otherwise this would have teleported into this this little tunnel here. That often happens. And it, it's a little bit annoying. Do we go up and say hello to the boss? I would really like to see how strong it is against such a tanky boss if it can nuke him or not. Because he also doesn't move a lot. Hello, Mr. Bossy. Did I... Did I just straight up walk into him? Okay. Big break. Oh, no, wait. Did he get changed? Why is he so fast? He usually just idled there. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I understand why I got so surprised. Usually he was just idling there, AFK casting his stuff. <laughs> Did you see how fast I got killed? I got humbled there very quickly. Oh, wow. I mean, how many revivals do we have left? Three. I think we should be fine. Now, the real question is, do I actually want to pick up every single bit of curse that exists on the stage? Uh, the answer will be yes. Now, my personal belief is... I think around the 25 minute mark, I'm guaranteed to die, and even before that, I will randomly take damage, because enemies get in so fast with the curse that we have at that time, that I will just... Right. Okay. Nothing happened. Ignore that, guys. <laughs> Nothing happened. It doesn't even matter a lot, because if we start dying, we will not, like, die once and that's it, but we will keep dying all the time. Okay, good. But yeah, that um, yeah, I, I used to be a bit more uh, <laughs> focused. <laughs> well, let's be honest, when was I ever focused on the stuff that I'm doing? I'm so careless with these limit break videos because usually at this point you kill everything. To be fair though, everything that runs in dies. But do you see the issue? How far they get in before they die? Yeah, right now that's not a big deal. You know when it's a big deal? <laughs> when the enemies are so fast that they reach me before it hits them. One thing that I'm wondering though is, look at this ginormous nuke. If I just stand here at the pots... Whoa... I'm literally nuking the enemies all the time. Isn't this a cheat code? So, let's see how it is when I'm not next to the pots. Yeah, do you see how far they get in? I actually just got damaged. I don't know if you saw that, but I took a tiny bit of damage. So, if I stand next to the pots, which don't seem to die, then that means I can just infinitely trigger the weapon, and I'm good. Oh yeah, thank you for the experience, by the way. That's always appreciated. Yeah, yeah apparently I walked into the red gem, but I was so careful, I didn't even see it. That's weird. <laughs> hey. Oh, did you get bonus HP? Oh, because I just upgraded, yeah, yeah, the Metallio, that gives you bonus HP. Yeah, I'm... So the weapon is amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love the effects. I think in a build, it's a very powerful and strong weapon, especially if you play a luck character. However, on its own, this weapon will kill you. And I'm already dying. I'm only 11 minutes in. And every second level up, we get 1% bonus curse. So... What's the plan, Dex? <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> this is the plan. <laughs> it's right now at the smallest point. And in a oh hey, cool. Is there is there anything that would be good here? Listen, we already know we are guaranteed to die. We already see kind of the max of this weapon. The only thing that will change is the area. So. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. Yeah, but because the only thing that it will really affect is the might stat. The rest doesn't matter. 
Let's just do it. Let, let's just see how powerful you can make this weapon. I can't really see anything. I... Are these guys dying? Wait. I've... Are they dying? No, they are just getting pushed away. Never mind. They're not dying. Okay, all is good. All is good. All is good. Oh, can I turn something off to make this less suffering? I know another blaze that I can go to. But this doesn't really help, does it? I know another place that I can do go to, which is down here. There are also a lot of pods, and I think more enemies can spawn. Yeah, there are a huge amount of pods. Oh, I'm safe. I... Well, but do we kill a lot of enemies? I feel like here we actually kill less than... Yeah, just standing here. Oh my... It just wipes out the entire nation. There was a boss next to me. It just wipes out everything. But entirely. I mean, that... that Okay. Okay. Gu guys, this is fine. Is, is there is there maybe something that I can activate that it's not as flashy? The funny thing is, it's, it's yellow, right? But when you get so many overlaps, then it eventually just turns white. I wish it would just get darker instead. <laughs> because I struggle seeing anything. Guys, I have a serious question for you. Would you enjoy seeing me run a normal build that is not limit break? Because even though I think it's a lot of fun to explore the extremes of these weapons, I also think that most of the times we take the weapons to such ridiculous stages that you can't even look at the screen anymore. I mean, do you really enjoy looking at this? I guess you're not looking at it, right? You have it on a second monitor. Ah, uh, fair enough. Wait, that's actually also not true. Like, 30% of the people that watch me actually watch me on TV, which surprised me quite a lot. So... Doesn't this blind you? <laughs> Should we should we, should we make a normal run with this character? I think that would be a good idea. Or no movement challenge. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No movement challenge. If I pick up a chest and we get an arcana, that would mean that I can pick up other things. That would be really good. Oh. But what even? What is it doing? Why are the enemies spawning like this? Okay, can I, can I just go to the plans? Uh, the pots, not the plans. Is this maybe better? Honestly, without the blinking, this is way better. But the thing is, look at the kill counter. It's very slow. So it kills 400 enemies at once, which is the max spawn amount. That means everything dies. But the question is, is this one not better? How is it not better? They're actually dying. Right? Like, this should be... Oh, it's so slow in comparison. It's hard to say, because this one always takes a break after it killed 400 enemies. My eyes are literally dying. <laughs> I can't look at this. <laughs> I hope the unevolved weapon is not this bad. Oh, God. How is something so powerful? What are the damage numbers right now, I wonder? Because our luck keeps increasing. 11,800. Okay. Yeah, Boogaloo of Illusions was a mistake, wasn't it? Boogaloo of Illusions is not a mistake, Dex. You see, as long as I cover up my screen with my hands, this is totally fine. Sure, I created a flashbang. Sure, this is literally a nuke that <laughs> destroys the entire abyss. Oh, hey, that was a boss. Welcome. Sure, you know, that just happens as a Sunday morning. It's t typical. Yeah. Is this the... Oh, that was not even the one that gives all the... Ex um... Um, what's happening? Pots? Those are pots? Somewhere over here. Yeah, it's the same behavior again. Honestly, I think the enemies are still getting killed at the same speed. It just looks different. Um, sure guys, no? <laughs> Do I have a magnet around there? Okay, we got all the level ups. That means, with the level that we currently have, we are actually maxed out. And I would assume the duration keeps increasing the amount on the weapon, unless the limit of 20 also applies to that. But yeah, um, do I even have to do anything anymore? I, I, I think we're just chilling, looking at the kill counter going up. Okay, let's take a look at this. It's really fast though. Like, it's really, really fast. So if I walk away from them... 
it does burst, but on average, like if you would calculate this out, I think we get less kills. But it's hard to say. Maybe I just walk in a way. I, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I think this is the max amount of kills. Like this is way faster than the other one. Let's just stay here. We're about to 20 minutes and it's time to collect the experience. Believe it or not, I stayed away from the experience for the entire time. We are almost at half a million kills. There we go. Okay, we are around level 800. Oh, the game is slowing down like a lot, a lot. Oh, wow. Um, okay, th th this this may take a while. This, this really may take a while. <laughs> So we reached level 1000 and I would say it's time to check out the damage numbers. How much are we dealing? Uh, that looks like 15,000, correct? Yeah, 15,000, what? That is so much. We were at 10,000, now we're at 15,000. What I'm currently wondering is, if I'm not next to the pots... Huh? Am I still next to the pots? Okay, let's go over here. There are no pots guaranteed. I want to see how consistent the weapon is now without pots. Mm. Okay. Is that better or worse? Like the downside is we now have way more flashing instead of consistently being bright. Huh. Okay, now it does that again. Oh, you meme. Okay, never mind. We, we, if we, I simply can't do it. I have to stand next to the pots. Now, is there a better spot for the pots? We know up there are a couple of spots. Maybe I could go above where the arcana spawns. Let me get that. Nice. There is a spot above the arcana chest where I think most of the enemies can spawn. Because over here is the bridge. Which limits this all quite a bit. <laughs> I love this. This weapon is so powerful. I decided to look into this character a little bit more and there's actually a hilarious thing about this character where if you use very specific weapons and don't evolve them, the character will take them, evolve them and you don't have them as items on you. Like they just disappear. So yeah, guess what we are doing next. <laughs> Pure craziness. Okay, this is the period now where I'm a little bit scared that the enemies may overpower us. Now, we are strong, but like, for example, down here is a gap. If they manage to run through and hit me, if they do that often enough, I will end up dying. Uh, I'm looking for vacuum. Perfect, let's go. So we are about to hit 600k kills at 24 minutes. That is a very respectable time, especially given that the start was quite slow. Is it just me or is it way darker now? Because before it was so bright and I think just the overlay in the game makes this darker the further you go. Now it's acceptable. <laughs> like before it killed my eyes. But now it's good. Yeah. 25 minutes. This is the first really difficult wave. Does it look difficult? <laughs> no. <laughs> now as we have learned. As we have learned. The enemies at wave 27 have 700 HP, multiplied with curse, multiplied with the inverse stage, which is a lot, that means 2100, multiplied by over 10, okay, so 21,000 HP. However, the wave after that has 100 base HP, so 7 times less, and all the other stuff also applies times 10, times 3, and then multiplied with our level. So 1,300. I don't think I have to explain to you just how much HP they have. Let's do the math. 100 times 10 again. 1,000 times 3. 3,000. Now multiply this with this number. That's, um, I think that's 3 million HP if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> There's no way we'll do this. <laughs> like, not in the slightest. Um... Yeah. Uh. Here is a magnet. I see like an outline and here's one. I... Which one do I take? 
We are about to get hit to 27 minutes. Oh, this is where it starts to get really difficult. We have a bunch of rosaries down though, and I do expect that we can just wipe out the enemies easily. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what scares me? Do you see how the enemies rush in? No, I'm pretty sure they are already dead. But I'm looking at my HP to notice if this ever ticks down just in the slightest. Did I get it? There are like three vacuums here. Oh, wow. And there are another two. Um. Um. How much? How, how much experience? <laughs> okay, gosh. <laughs> this is where it starts to slowly ramp up. I think this is the time where we look at damage numbers because the moment we had 29,000 damage. Okay. But yeah, the moment we hit 28 minutes, this will turn into a lag festival or it could be that surprisingly, magically, the weapon manages to do this lag free, which I don't think. Like if you take into consideration what we just calculated, how much HP they have, and now it's way more. Like look at our curse, it's now an 11 times multiplier and we have 100 bonus levels or almost 200. That means they have even more HP. Are you guys ready? The moment we had 700k kills, we are 28 minutes. FPS is over 100. FPS is 40. That is expected. Wait, it stays like this? It's just... Killing them. Huh? How many projectiles are we shooting out? Like, li li listen, 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 listen. What? With the... Oh, wow. 32,000 damage, okay? With that damage and the calculation, we need to hit the enemies at least 100 times in a rapid succession to one-shot them. What is going on? How are they dying like flies? This is... How broken is this weapon? <laughs> <laughs> what did what did we create here? Okay, th there's another one. I think Did I get it? Okay, I got I got the magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. I, I I don't even know what's going on anymore. We'll just let it happen. Minute 29. This is also dangerous because even though they are weaker, they have 20 less HP, so only 80 instead of 100. They are way bigger. Do you see that how much they push in? Will this be enough though? So far, it's looking very good. Okay. Still looking very good because <laughs> we just keep leveling up. <laughs> Do I have a magnet down? Yeah, to the bottom right. I will try to get this one. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Yeah, we just exceeded level 2000. Well, we will exceed level 2000. How is this weapon so ridiculous? The moment we get to the Reaper, I will turn on damage numbers. Let me do it on the luck doubling if this affects it in any way. Uh, how much damage are we dealing? I see 46,000 damage. I wonder if the moment the luck is gone. Okay, let's check it out again. Now it stayed the same. Okay, so the extra luck set that we have doesn't really seem to affect the damage numbers at all. That's weird because it did say that luck affects... Crit, crit chance, it doesn't affect the crit damage, it only increases the crit chance, which is already 100%. Okay, never mind, never mind. That is. That was ridiculous insanity. Oh, that's my birth date! Hey! Please don't continue. No, oh, okay, sure, sure. I had like one happy thing in my life and you're ruining it. <laughs> that would be quite sad. Okay, we are done. Goodbye. Now it's time to quit and let's check out the damage numbers. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not in the slightest surprised. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.